anybody in Portland probably knows where that's at. Um, had an iffy signal, but um, One Direction was coming up really good, um, good numbers. And the other direction was half iron and half good. So you don't want to pass up those numbers. So they were coming up 1447s. 1446s on one side. And it's a Merc. Now what year? Forty-four. We'll take it. So I just found these sitting on the ground here. And the weird thing is, they don't come up like, uh, they come up like a 1240, 12, a, a 1207, they come up with a 1207, but they don't, they don't say sterling on them or anything, but they do, one of them is stamped like, like, Alpaca, Mexico. No idea. I'm not sure if that's silver or just cheap junk. Got a very iffy signal that was coming in as a 1748.
Hey, good morning, everybody. We're out in Vancouver today. There's Hap over there. And um used to be an old school that set, um, like in back in the 50s, it used to be an old school that set like right through here. And then sometime between uh, 56 and 60, um, they added a school over there. And the building was, well, actually, I think they take that back. They added a building that was in here. But this area right through here was sort of just original field um, and he's over on that side I'm not sure if he's finding anything over there because I think that's where the original school building might have been but I just picked up a um, four inch tax token which is pretty cool that it's only four inches um, I think I got my light on I do I gotta get my light off you know where my battery down but it's in really good shape for a tax token uh, Washington State um, so that's a good sign. This was ringing in. Usually these ring in like a quarter. This was ringing in a pretty solid 1245. So that's pretty cool. And nice to find that shallow uh, in the area that I'm actually planning on hunting, which is right in through here. Let's see if we can pick up anything. All right, I'm hunting with Hap. I don't know what I got, but it was like a 144 signal. Um, it's one of those signals that was really shallow, and but it was the right numbers. I mean, it was like the right numbers. But of course, I didn't. Um, of course, I. Uh, what? You said nickel tone? No, no, it was it was uh, shallow, but it was the right numbers for like a dollar. It's either a half dollar or a dollar. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I mean, it was just right there. I was like, I did that, but maybe it's not. Oh, it is something big. Looks like a peace dollar. Holy crap. Can you imagine? That's just sitting in there. Nope, 1922. So I've only found, this would be my second one dug, and they're both been silver dollars. I mean, both been peace dollars. I think the other one was a 23. Yeah. Wow. That is just crazy. Did that just blow your ears off, or was it iffy? No, no, it was, no, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't iffy at all. It's just a nice little high tone. But you know those those signals don't come up like super high, um, but they're but the numbers I was getting was um, one forty four seven forty four, so that I think in what could be a ring or it could be a fifty cent piece, but it was shallow, so in my mind I wasn't thinking it was going to be a silver coin like that. Right. Pay more attention to the shallows. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you would have dug that because it was yeah it was repeatable. Nice high tone, unbelievable. Awesome. So now I'm gonna stay in this little area. <laughs> man, oh man. Is it all on live dig? No. You would never, you know, you, you hardly ever expect these to be, you know, the last.